Hey guys, my name is 551, and we're back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we finished up Gerudo's Valley, or yeah, Gerudo Valley, and got the membership card, freed all the carpenters, and since we freed all the carpenters, they, they fixed the bridge for us. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, so now in this part, we're going to go to the next temple, or hopefully get to the next temple. Anyway, what you're gonna need is your ocarina. No, I'm not so sure about your ocarina, but I know for sure you're gonna need the lens of truth. Hey, Bukama. That, that's just what she said. My commentary is not that off, but it may be off by a little bit. Not that much, though. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Without Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. That'll raise the gate. Alright. And go. Okay. So what does this say? Haunted Wasteland. If you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Right, so let's go. Now you're gonna need your hookshot, ocarina, and lens of truth out. So Yeah, you're gonna try on the box. Yeah, this box I guess. But if if it gets too difficult to see the flags, um Wait a second. Here, here. I didn't actually know about this until Tenjin Move did it, but you can pull out your ocarina and play the song Storms, and when the lightning flashes, it'll actually show you the move to go. So, going. I see it in the distance sometimes. Let's just keep playing the song of storms here. There's the next one. Two here. I'm just gonna roll because I know this is quicksand and I don't want to get stuck or anything. Alright. Um, in here, I believe there's a sculpture or down to the yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and take out our fire arrows. Then I'll make a treasure chest up here. And there, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what's in this. Uh, purple ruby. Alright, take it. Fairy. Fifteen heart containers that we have, deck deck nuts, and a purple green. Ah. That's kind of pointless, but whatever. Part of the game is pointless. Other than the fact it gets you to the next temple. Right. So now what you're gonna want to do is climb up here. But make sure you have out your eye of truth. Lens of truth, sorry. When you use the lens of truth, you don't see Link like 
like hold up, hold it up to his eye. So, I don't know. Give me a second. Alright, that was just the five minute warning. So just walk onto him and then follow. I guess don't really walk onto him. But... He takes you in circles sometimes, which can get quite annoying. But sometimes it's okay. Just don't get lost, obviously, and then there are the levers. Levers are, I guess, kind of like a new type of enemy. Where are you going? Yeah. Come on. Just take me there. Come on. See, he's taking us in a complete circle. Nope. Yeah. Almost lost him. Come on. Let's go. And there we go. That's it. Now, you don't need the Lens of Truth out anymore, obviously. That statue has boobies. But, um, yeah. Alright. Alright. Um, I'm going to pick up the next magic spell, which is actually over here. This is the last magic spell. And it is one of the most game-breaking spells you will get. Like, no joke. This is pretty much the only game-breaking spell like, you'll get, I guess, but... You know. Uh, and I'm, no, this is the second-to-last Naked Ivy Fairy in the game. So there will be one more that I'm I'm gonna get that's actually relatively useful. I've never actually used Nairu's Love because it takes up a lot of magic. But welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. No, I think I'll just leave and let you continue to be naked. I don't get why they had to make make the fairy so weird in this game. They also look like that Majora's Mask, I kinda get, I guess, but... What we got? Nairu's Love casts this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. Awesome. <laughs> Nairu's Love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you weary, yada yada yada. Alright. I'll refill our magic meter. So, we almost have everything on the Equip subscreen, besides the exception of that one bottle and those other two arrows. See? Yeah, these these two will use six, this one will use twelve, so I don't prefer to use it, but, yeah. And I... Actually, the next temple. The spirit temple. But don't be fooled by the entrance. They have flying pots. And. Can't push that block yet. An adult wing can't fit into that hole. So. What do we do? I guess we'll leave. Because we, we can't come here as a kid, or else the Gerudo will be blocking the bridge, so... Who is that? Oh, Sheik. Huh. Past, present, future. 
The Master Sword is a ship with, with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To rest the, the, restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's Flow. Listen to this requiem of spirit. This melody will lead you. We will lead a child back to the desert. We're actually going to learn this song in the next part because we're out of time. So thanks for watching and goodbye.